Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Nexus player. So when you first turn on your device, it's going to start with this screen, which you're just going to hit the back and circle buttons as it shows you on the screen. And we're just going to hold those down. And then it will connect to the remote. And then you're checked off, as you can see. From here, we're just going to type in English. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see on this one. And then we're going to connect to our... Just want to see. Nope, you cannot yet do the voice command yet, but you will be able to after this, most likely. The problem with not being able to do the voice command, of course, is you have to go through the long process of typing everything out, which, you know, is one of the perks of being able to do voice to text. And now we're going to connect to the network. It has connected. And so you can see when it first turned on, you are going to have to do a system update. And then it will install the update. And then we're going to come back when it's done. Once you start up after the update, it will ask you to either use your phone or use your password to sign into your Google account. We'll go with use your phone. So you're going to go to this website on your phone now and then enter in that password code. So that's what I'm going to do on my phone right now. Forward slash Android TV. to not go through you have to make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi connection and there you go so now it went through I don't know why it didn't go through the first time but now we're going to enter this pin in and so you can see, this was what the website should look like. And then it will connect. And now this device has been cleared. Now you can of course do your password for security purposes. I didn't want to put my password on the TV. So I just did it with my phone. And then you'll choose your account that you're signing into, which I just did. And it's just telling me that now I'll have everything from my music to my videos uh, all on here. And you're going to hit continue. Then you're going to allow uh, for location for Google and third party apps. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, I don't see why you would need location too much for this, except maybe like using Yelp for navigation purposes. But other than that, you probably won't need this. And then we're finished. And we have been completed the setup. And so now you can see just how it looks. So everything is loaded on here, which is nice. Your videos, your YouTube, and you can see the app starting to load in. And this is where we will go through everything later on. All right, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching. This has been R-O-C-K-Y, the Android guy.